Hi, everybody. Take a look at this. Yes, there is an amazing mod out at the moment which allows you to spawn in raptors into your Daisy PC server. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this absolutely amazing mod, um, which is from Dino's Beano. Um, it is on Steam. Just look for DBO underscore raptors. Um, by Dino's Bino, um, and Dino's Bino also has a YouTube channel and he has a Discord. The link to the Discord is in the description for the mod. Absolutely amazing, so make sure you check out his Discord and make sure you throw him a couple of bucks on his PayPal. Make sure you check out his YouTube and subscribe to that. However, the um, instructions that come with the mod and the files that come with the mod don't give you everything you need in order to have the uh, dinosaurs start to spawn on your server so that's what i'm going to show you how to do in this video i'm going to uh, give you some files to download some xml snippets to install on your server that will allow this to happen and basically what's going to happen is you're going to end up with the um on chernerus you're going to have dinosaurs you're going to have raptors spawning at the bear spawns sort of around sort of the uh, the west northwest and north of the the map but also where chickens spawn so basically every single town and all over the place you're going to have raptors spawning there as well and these raptors they're they're pretty nasty things there's there's three sizes there's the big one there's the oh he's standing up there isn't he looks like him Godzilla there's the big one there's the medium one and there's the baby one but they're all very very dangerous indeed so what you want to do is first off you want to go over to the steam workshop um, look for dbo underscore raptors or use the link in the description below the video and you'll want to subscribe to that so that can start to download and then you'll also want to go to my github again link in the description below the video and on my github you'll want to download the daisy pc churnish dinosaur dbo raptors mod by dino's been a piece all pc install instructions easy for me to say so you click on the code button and you click on download zip and then once you've downloaded that um, and you'll get the file and you'll want to then extract here or unzip here and go into it uh, there's some nice pictures and then there's the readme and there's an xml file so you want to open up the readme um, and the readme is a comprehensive set of instructions on how to install this mod so it works now i've created this video on the 24th of january 2022 um, but the mod is a work in progress, so I wouldn't be surprised if Dino Bino adds some more um, dinosaurs to it. He'll probably uh, change the sounds, because sometimes they make bear sounds at the moment as well. And also, he may well include XML files that make uh, it easier to install in the way that he would want you to install it. At the moment, the other files that are included with the install, um, they, don't really, they, they don't help you install it. Um, so th that's why I'm saying follow my instructions because I think they probably work a little bit better. The other thing I'd say as well is I'm not an expert at animal spawns in Daisy, so it could be the method that I'm using is a little bit uh, is strong is a bit of a strong arm technique, and there might be a bit better way to do it. But I've done it this way. I've tested it on my local server. I've tested it on um, a remote server, and it seems to work fine. And it seems to work consistently, which obviously is the uh, is the key. Also. I have done a video on how to install this on your local server, but this is actually a better method for doing it. So if you want to install it on your local server, use these files, use this method, because you end up with more dinosaurs. So you're more likely to run into dinosaurs to give you and or your server owners um, a, um, a better sort of dinosaur experience. So what you want to do is um, follow the instructions, um, subscribe to the mod in St on Steam. Now, once you've subscribed to the mod in Steam and then you open up your Daisy launcher, it will automatically download the DBO Raptors mod to your to your local computer. Um, and then what we need to do is we need to get this mod up onto our remote server. So what we're going to use, we're going to use FTP. Now, what I'm not going to do is give you an FTP tutorial on how to use it. You're probably familiar with using FTP at the moment. Um, but I will give you a couple of hints, actually. So on the left, what you can see, this is my local PC. And on the right, this is my remote PC up in the cloud, my Nitrido Daisy server, Chernerous one. Um, and then if we look inside the workshop folder, you'll see that we've got dbo underscore raptors. So they, they're downloaded there. Now, if you're not sure where to find your workshop folder, 
um, or how to access it once you're in your FTP program, if you go into the uh, launcher and go to the mod section, click on the little arrow next to the mod you want, click on the three little dots, click on open folder in Windows Explorer, and it'll open up where it is. And then if at the top of the screen in the um, address bar, if you just left click and then right click the address, you can copy that, take that to your FTP program, paste it in, and that will take you straight to your workshop folder. So after you've connected to your website, what you want to do is just go down to DBO Raptors, and then on this particular FTP program, we just go upload, and that would then upload DPO Raptors to the server. What we need to do next is we need to make sure the key for the Raptors server, Raptors uh, mod is in the server. So on, on the left under DBO Raptors, you see we've got a keys folder, it's appeared down there. And on the right, you see we've got the server's keys folder down there. So we've got Dino's been a buy key, right click, upload, and that will then put that into that folder there, as you can see. I've already done it. So we've got the server, we've got the um, Raptor mod up on the server, but what we need to do now is we need to make sure when the server starts, it starts with the Raptor mod. So you want to go to your web interface for your server. This is a Nitrido one. And you want to go to the settings. And you'll want to scroll down and you want to the one that says additional mods. As you can see, I've already got two mods on there, at CF and at Zombri Admin Tools, and now we want to add at DBO underscore Raptors with a semicolon in between. Now, it could be on your particular server, you have direct access to the batch file that starts the server. If you do, then the mod section is in the line that, I think it's, it starts, it says start, and then you just look along there and it'll say mods, and then you'll add um, DBO at DBO Raptors again, uh, semicolon in front um, or and or behind if you've got more mods behind it, and that will mean that it will then start. So what you want to do is you want to stop your server, add at DBO Raptors there, and you want to save the changes. So now we've told the server to start with at DBO Raptors. We've got the mod up there. However, what we haven't done is we haven't changed the economy at all in order to tell the server how and when and where to spawn in our little dinosaurs so for that what we want to do is we want to edit the um, uh, events file now there's a couple of ways that you can do this you can download the events to XML or you can edit it within the file browser if your server allows you to we're only doing quite a small edit so I'm going to do it within the file browser so I'm just going into daisy standalone scrolling down going to the missions folder here I've got Daisy Offline Chernerus Plus, and then the event uh, events is within the DB directory or the DB folder, and there's events. So I can just click on that, and on Nitrido it will then open up in the web. Now, this is where the README from the files you've downloaded comes in very handy, because the README is, is a comprehensive set of instructions that shows you how to do this. So as you can see, it's here it says, open your events XML file, it's in the DB folder, and add the following XML snippet at the top below the events tag. And so what you do is you left click and then scroll down to get all of that. And then you would right click and you would copy that big long entry. And then all you would do is at the top underneath events. So there you would right click paste. Now, as you can see, I've already done it. So bear spawn wrapped at one entry, hen spawn large wrapped to two entry, hen spawn wrapped to three, wrapped to four. So they're all there, ready to go. And once they're on there, you just want to save those changes. So the next thing we need to do is we need to tell our server where it should look to find the file um, that will have the territories on it for the raptors. So what we're going to do first, we're first going to upload that file. So if we go back to our home on our server, so Daisy standalone, MP missions, Daisy offline generous plus, and we want to go into the ENV directory or the ENV folder. And you can do this via XML as well. And what you want to do here is you want to click on Upload File. 
and then you want to go to the downloads or wherever you extracted the, the file we downloaded from my GitHub. And you see you've got that wrap2 and wrap3territories.xml. You want to open that and then upload that to the file again. You could do it via FTP if you wanted to. And there it is on my folder, uh, wrap2 and wrap3territories.xml. Now what that file is, is actually just a, ed a slightly edited hens <laughs> territories file um, so that it will work with the... Um, so it will work with the raptors. So we've got that. So now we need to tell our server, you know, it needs to access that. So what we do is we go back to the root directory of the mission. So the one with all the config files with all the CFGs. And we want to go into the CFG environment.xml file. And then near the top, underneath general, you have all these instructions here uh, on where the game should look for the territories. And we just need to add one that says with the raptors in it. So raptor entry, file path, rap2, and three territories XML. But again, if you go back to the readme, open your CFG environment XML file and add the following XML snippet. So we just take that, right click, copy that, and then you would just paste it in there just like up there. So it says wrapped entry. So we've just added wrap two and three territories. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to tell the same file um, how it should treat um, the raptors. Um, in other words, how should they behave and, and what file should it use to, to check them? Now we've got four different raptors. We've got the um, raptor one, which is the large raptor. And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna make it spawn in where the bears normally would be. Well, in addition to the bears. Then we're also, then raptor two, that's again, that's the large raptor, but we're gonna get that to spawn in where the hens spawn in. <laughs> and so, for the, for the bear one, we say, okay, territory type is herd, name is raptor one, that's the name of the event, behavior is bliss bear group bear, so it means the raptor will behave like a bear. Um, and the file, file usable is the bear territories. And then for the remaining one, so raptor two, raptor three, and raptor four, raptor two being the big raptor, raptor three being the medium one, and raptor four being the baby raptors, um, they're all going to behave like bears, bliss bear, group bear, bear, or move around like bears, And they're but they're all going to refer to wrap two and three territories which is as i said before that's an edited hens territories file so they're going to be spawning in the same place so a hint you could give your survivors as they're moving around if they hear a hen that's good <laughs> because it means there's probably won't be a dinosaur there if they don't hear a hen where there normally are hens there will probably be a dinosaur there so again if you go back to the um, readme you'll see we've got the xml snippet so you can just right click and you can copy that and then you can just just paste that in underneath Oop, not there there we go you'll be pasting it in underneath the uh, the closing territory tag underneath bear territory so you would you would right click and you would paste it in there obviously as you can see i've already pasted mine in there and so you just save that um, and at that point you know you're good to restart your server so hit restart and then the the raptors will start spawning in so let's now go and have a closer look at the files just to see what what we've kind of done to give you an idea and maybe you know if you're good at spawning animals you might see this and go actually rob there's a better way of doing this so as you know from what we've just looked at you've got the bear spawns uh, bear spawn raptor so we've got animal raptor one so raptor one is the event name and it's an animal type um, and there should be 20 of them spawning in so that's quite a lot normally there's only two now i'm not quite sure how it works so i've done nominal min and max all at 20 and that seems to work and that will then spawn in the dbo underscore idrex which is the big raptor and then hen spawn large raptor two again it's the dbo underscore idrex so this is the big or this is the big raptor and we've got 40 of them so there's lots of them and these are all at the hen spawns and then raptor three which is the medium sized raptor again we've got 40 of them and then you've got raptor four which is dbo underscore raptor b which is the juvenile raptor the small one and again we've got 40 of those um 
and that's it really and it, and it should work and well it, it works when when i've tested it so you should have um a lot of fun with these uh with these raptors um amazing work by dino's bino to produce this um again please just visit those links and um, say hello and throw them a few bucks if you can or even just a thanks will go a long way because this is an absolutely fantastic mod you may want not want to use it in quite the same way i have here by using the hen spawns because they're quite dangerous these raptors and they'll kill you very 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 quickly you may want to keep them at the northwest of the map um, using the bear spawns or you may you want you may want to change this idea and and do it say with things like cattle spawns now we're on the subject actually the the dinosaurs the raptors are the, in the same kind of class as the um zombies and the wolves and the bears so they won't fight each other but they will go after um, the domestic animals and things like the goats and the cows so that can be quite funny when you see a dinosaur chasing a cow across a field but they do kill them fairly quickly but the zombies unfortunately won't fight the raptors which would have been uh, which would have been pretty cool so there we go hopefully you found that useful if you've got better ways to improve this code please let me know and i will change the github repository and the xml snippets if you found it useful hit like if you've installed it on your server and it's working and it seems pretty cool please let me know as well because i always like to hear that stuff and of course i'll see you again soon <laughs>